Next time you're booking a sun and sand holiday, just remember that not all beaches are created equal, especially when it comes to safety. In fact, some beaches are as deadly as they are beautiful. Here's a list of the top most dangerous beaches in the world. Number 10, Cape Tribulation, Australia. First on our list is Cape Tribulation. The name itself doesn't sound all that welcoming. The animal kingdom is a strange and wonderful place, but there are some pretty scary creatures out there. And Queensland Beach is home to dangerous animals that are native to Australia, and ones that you for sure heard of, such as jellyfish. From October to early June, the warmer water brings thousands of crystal clear box jellyfish to this beach. The venom of these particular jellyfish attacks the cardiovascular system and can cause swimmers to drown before reaching land for help. Cape Tribulation also marks the spot where the Daintree Rainforest meets the Great Barrier Reef. The rainforest is dangerous with some other deadly animals, but this video is about beaches, okay? And the beach is, in fact, a crocodile-infested area, with swimming completely restricted at all times. Aside from jellyfish and crocs, there's also giant birds. I'm talking about cassowaries. You do not want to mess with these guys. These flightless birds can be over 5 feet tall and can weigh more than 160 pounds pounds. That's heavier than a lot of you. And while most birds would be inclined to scatter at the sight of a human, cassowaries do not. They are known to be very aggressive, and they could do some serious damage to an unknowing traveler. Number 9. Playa Zibilite, Mexico While many choose Mexico as the perfect vacation getaway, it would be best to avoid Playa Zibilite, so much so that the beach is actually known to locals as Playa de los Muertos, meaning Beach of the Dead. Sounds like the title for the next horror movie, or the next Jaws. Zipolite also translates from Zapotec to Beach of the Dead, so they're really drumming in the point here. That doesn't stop backpackers from visiting, however. It's also the only legal and public nude beach in Mexico. Sadly, the powerful rip currents beneath the water aren't suitable for the leisurely water sports that travelers may want to indulge in. The strong circling currents can bring people either in towards the shore or they can drag them out to sea, leaving them to drown. It used to be that 50 people would drown here a year, but since 1996, when a qualified lifeguard team was established, the number of drownings has gone down a lot, but it's still probably one to cross off your holiday list. Number 8. Hana Kapiai Beach, Hawaii from Mexico to Hawaii, and from one powerful set of rip currents to another, we move to Hanakapeai Beach, which is also slave to its strong and dangerous tide. The beach is something of a secret beach, only accessible by a small path just off the Nepali coast of Kauai. While this may seem really inviting to adventurers and something similar to the film The Beach, it's sure to have a similar catastrophic ending if you were to stay there too long. With it being secret, this of course means that Hanakapai is quiet and underneath that serene water are insanely powerful rip currents. Many people have been swept off to sea without anyone there to hear them calling for help. The closest populated area to the beach is six miles away, which means it would take a long time for a traveling companion to get help if anything were to happen. Over 80 people have died here. Number 7. Chow Patty Beach, Mumbai is it just me or does the name Chow Patty make me hungry and want a Krabby Patty from Spongebob? No? Just me? Okay, well, moving on to the next dangerous beach on our list, Chow Patty Beach, which is in Mumbai. While this made me think of food, it's not somewhere that would exactly whet your appetite. In 2011, Chow Patty Beach became one of the most polluted beaches in the world when the carrier MV Rank sank. The ship was carrying a whopping 60,000 metric tons of coal, which were all unloaded into the waters surrounding the beach that had once been picturesque. However, that's not the only source of pollution. Both the Chow Patty waters and sands are covered in debris and trash that all originate from the city of Mumbai. This is, of course, a worldwide issue that we are trying to tackle with various environmental movements. The pollution in this beach is so bad that the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has deemed the waters unsafe for locals to swim in, saying that doing so would result in illnesses and could be potentially life-threatening to small children. Not the place for a family vacation, then. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Be sure to give this video a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 6. New Smyrna Beach, Florida Our next beach is one of the most beautiful beaches on our list. 
which you would expect from Florida. New Smyrna is famous for its warm climate and great surf, but it also holds another far more sinister title, Shark Capital of the World. We all know that music that plays when we see a fin popping out of the water and beginning to circle some poor swimmer. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. But what would you do if you actually saw that coming towards you? There's been over 240 attacks on this beach alone. This broke the Guinness World Record. It hasn't stopped people from surfing there though. The motion of surfing attracts sharks all the more because they're alarmed by the splashing. They think that you're food. It's estimated that anyone who swims here is within 10 feet of a shark at all times. Number five, Gansby, South Africa. From one shark capital to another, while New Smyrna Beach holds the title of Shark Capital of the World, Gansby owns the title of Great White Shark Capital of the World. Experts believe that they're attracted to the large population of fur seals that live on the beach. In fact, the South African beach embraces the threat of the sharks and actually uses it as a tourist attraction. You can pay to be lowered in a cage, obviously one that's constructed so that's not big enough for there to be any chance of a shark actually getting through, and lowered into the shark-infested waters below and get up close and personal with the sharks. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Call me crazy, but I kinda wanna do this. Number four, Fraser Island, Australia. Australia gets mentioned quite a bit on this list. I won't be going swimming over there anytime soon. This next deadly beach, actually an island, is home to pretty much everything you want to avoid. Rescue choppers are frequently flown into the area to save visitors. Oh, and there's nowhere on the island to seek medical attention, which is and of itself another danger, but really only the beginning of dangers here. This is another hangout for great whites, though it's not really known for shark attacks, but actually dingo attacks. A huge population of dingoes are proving to be a threat for beachgoers. For those of you that don't know, dingoes are a breed of wild dog that are native to Australia. They look like a cross between a fox, a dog, and a wolf. Not exactly a cute and cuddly puppy like the ones we love to see on Instagram. While dingoes don't actively go out of their way to attack people on the island, there was a terrible incident in 2011 when a girl was mauled by a small pack of dingoes. The girl survived, but the threat became very real. Anyone who visits the beach should be on the lookout. There's also a bunch of jellyfish whose sting will require medical attention, which again, just to reiterate, cannot be found on the island. Okay, so there's some not so friendly animals here. And then there's the ocean itself. It's known for being exceptionally rough and for its powerful riptides. Since there are no lifeguards on patrol here, nor any warning flags, tourists often jump in for a dip and find themselves unable to get back to shore. You'd think they would put a medical office here. Number three, Beaches of Northern Territory, Australia. Moving to the north coast of Australia, we return back to the dangerous animals of the sea, or rather, fish. We all know that scene in Finding Nemo, when the heroes suddenly find themselves surrounded by a bloom of box jellyfish. Yep, that's right, they're called bloom like they're cute little flowers and not the most dangerous type of jellyfish in the world. They have 60 tentacles, 60, and all of them are venomous. The sting from a box jellyfish can be so painful that it can induce cardiac arrest within the person if left untreated. Death can occur within five minutes of being stung. Yikes! Trying to remove the tentacle sting from the body can make the venom's effects act quicker too, which is a natural instinct to do. If you are visiting any of these areas in Australia, be sure to do your research about what to do if the worst should occur. In the beaches of the Northern Territory alone, there have been a total of 70 deaths since 1883. Number two, beaches of the Amazon, South America. From one set of beaches to another, we move from Australia to the Amazonian beaches of South America. Is anyone surprised? While sharks may be the biggest and scariest fanged fish there in the waters, there's something else which is just as toothy and just as scary, the piranha. In the beaches of the Amazon, there are 2,500 different species of fish, including piranha. But that's not all. If you're looking for dangerous creatures, then this is the place to go because alongside the piranha, there's also a multitude of anacondas and electric eels, which means both land and sea aren't safe for people to be around. Probably best to avoid or else you'll be looking under your feet every two seconds. Number one, black sand beaches of Kilauea, Hawaii. Finally, we have these black sand beaches. Black sand beaches themselves 
don't look all too welcoming due to the dark atmosphere that the color of the sand lets off. However, it's strangely beautiful to see something as common as sand in a completely different manner of how we naturally know it. Before you book your flight, it may be worth mentioning that the beaches are located in the volcano's national park and are located next to a continuously erupting volcano. Yep, there is no chance of it erupting. It's been erupting constantly since 1983. The lava that it's been burping up has been thrown into the oceans, making the volcanic waters reach temperatures of 110 degrees. While it's been erupting for over 30 years, it shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. It's known as one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Thanks for watching. Have you been to any of these beaches? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!